Uh, next question is from our Deputy Managing Editor, and it will go to Beth Hogan. Hi. Yeah. I recently purchased a home from an older couple who decided they couldn't no longer afford to live in Connecticut. So they were moving to Tennessee uh, to l meet their daughter, who is in her late 20s, and also moved down south because it was too expensive. What do you tell people who are leaving Connecticut because it's too sp expensive to live here, and how do you fix it? Well, we want all generations to stay. We want the young, we want the old, because your community isn't going to thrive if you don't have a multi-generational diversity to it. Um, for the young people, how to get them to stay. There was an initiative, uh, school, learn here, live here. I think that needs to come back and a way to engage young people in wanting to stay so we can stop the brain drain to stay here in exchange for working here and going to school here, that they would receive some type of tax incentive. But the tax incentive earmark could only be for, let's say, a limited purpose. It would be to buy a new home, to start a homeowner's program for young people and young families to stay here, learn, and work here. For the, for the older generation, we need them. We need their wisdom and their leadership. Um, we have to do something for property tax because that's that's a tax that doesn't discriminate against anybody. You could be have not a penny in your pocket, but you paid off your mortgage, you worked hard all your life, and all you see each year is the mill rate going up for services. That would make anybody run, okay? And that's out walking and talking the doors. The number one issue that comes up is property taxes, local property taxes, and we've talked about it for so long. I remember uh, John DiStefano and whoever was the leadership then of the Blue Ribbon Commission that we're going to do something. And there seems to be an appetite again. And I if, guess if there is a silver lining with this, this crisis that we have is that we actually will do something. And then I think you'll have the older population staying, their children staying in state, them able to be grandparents and mentors in the community. But local property tax relief has to start new and innovative startups, supporting our young people, ha making a way for them to stay in a very, very expensive state that no one really can afford. Well, Mrs. Cheeseman, your thoughts on what we're seeing with the uh, flight of both young professionals and, and uh, our, our older uh, citizens as they, as they reach retirement? Well, I think as we discussed, uh, Connecticut does too many things to discourage people from staying here. And I think we have to look at all options. At the Children's Museum, we were fortunate to benefit from a program called Serve Here, uh, which was largely started with private philanthropy with some state funding that uh, gives a non-for-profit or municipal authority uh, $10,000 if they create a new full-time job or turn a part-time job into a full-time one. You have to offer it to a Connecticut resident between the ages of 18 and 29 and once they've worked f for you for a year, they in return get $10,000 that they can apply towards student loan debt or for additional education. And we were in the uh, entry class, uh, employed a young woman named Virginia Steiner who is still here. It was a new full-time job. So I would welcome that sort of public-private partnership for, the, for our young people. Uh, but we, we have to look at keeping everyone here. So yes, property taxes are uh, an issue, but so is the way we tax other income, pension income, retirement income, social security. I actually read the uh, panel report from the last group that looked at taxes and saw rather than decreasing the tax burden on our retired community, looked at adding taxes on military pensions, social security. We're not going to keep people here by taking more money out of their pocket. We're going to keep people here by making things affordable, by coming up with ways, as we both discussed, to grow the economy so we're not relying on taxes to balance the budget. And only by being business friendly and encouraging the private enterprise can we have the kind of revenue we need to allow us to keep everybody here. 